Have you ever thought about how incredible it is that we can literally open up the body to replace organs and fix bones without the patient noticing it? It wasn't always painless to go through surgery. When anesthesia was first used in 1846, it was seen as quackery, pseudo-medicine that self-respecting physicians would not want to be associated with. If doctors didn't want to touch anesthetics, who would help patients go through surgery without excruciating pain? We now have the tools to make patients comfortable during surgery, but we just needed to find someone to actually give the anesthesia. At first, they tried to teach the medical students to do it, but they just wanted to watch the surgery. Plus, imagine a student with no experience nervously trying to inject you with anesthetics. So they asked nurses, who already knew about patient care, and they nailed it. And just like that, the practice of anesthesia was born. During the Civil War, nurse anesthetist Catherine Lawrence pioneered the way wounded soldiers were treated. The world-famous founders of the Mayo Clinic, surgeons William and Charles Mayo, wanted nurse anesthetist Alice McGaugh to give anesthesia for their surgeries. For decades, anesthesia was given almost exclusively by nurse anesthetists who, as women, didn't even have the right to vote. When physicians eventually caught on to this profession and created their first anesthesia residency in 1927, there were already 19 nurse anesthesia programs in the country. Sadly, things got ugly. Physicians sued the nurses, claiming that anesthesia should only be given by doctors. But women had been safely practicing anesthesia for decades. And in 1934, the Supreme Court of California ruled that anesthesia was in fact a practice of nursing. Today, there are over 50,000 certified registered nurse anesthetists, or CRNAs, nationwide, of which about 60% are women. They provide 60% of all the anesthesia in the United States more than 43 million times per year. Isn't it time to give the original and longest lasting anesthesia profession some credit? So from all of us who have ever had surgery, a special thank you to all these pioneering women and to all the current CRNAs out there. We appreciate you. Certified registered nurse anesthetists. Every breath, every beat, every second, we're there. Brought to you by the South Carolina Association of Nurse Anesthetists. Reproduced with permission from the Michigan Association of Nurse Anesthetists.